the real story of a product starts when it ships, because this is really when the experience starts. And most of the time, this experience is made of software. Which means that if you take your smartphone that you have right now in your pocket, the smartphone that you are using now is not the same as it used to be when you bought it, six months, 12 months, or 24 months ago. Why? Because it has been continuously upgraded, updated, and made better. So what we see in the industry is this trend towards connected, contextual, and continuously updated experiences. Then the challenge becomes to know what to do with this flow of data that you get from the devices that are connected. Because when you look at a smartphone, or a car, or a wind turbine, or an engine on an aircraft, the volume of data is not going to be the same. But there is a big difference. Some of these devices are going to send very structured data. It will communicate information about temperature, viscosity of a gel, vibration, and so on and so forth. At the beginning of engineering, you have requirements. You define the speed of a wheel, for example, but only when the real wheel starts to be on the road or start to move in a factory, you will know what the reality of the speed of the movement of this wheel. So suddenly, this abstract requirement that you had in mind becomes real with the real data of the real world. But the question becomes, what do you do with this data? Why don't you re-inject it back into the requirement? Because now you are designing product based on the reality. And at Dassault System, what we really want to do is to have this continuous loop of moving from virtual simulation to real data collection to re-injection into the model of your system engineering. This is really the core uh, value of what IoT brings. This is this continuous loop of innovation and uh, improvement of the product and the experience. So now the question becomes, who are the key industries that will be fundamentally transformed, fundamentally impacted by this connectivity of product in the next three to five years? What we see today at Dassault, whether it is in Korea, Japan, North America, and even Europe, is that the topic of mobility becomes clearly the, the mantra for a lot of industries. Where you see people coming from the consumer electronics who want to get a share of the pie of the autonomous cars, but also the traditional automotive industry players and a bunch of startups. We are here in California and we are surrounded by companies, very innovative companies in the domain of autonomous cars, who didn't even exist two years ago. And now when you look at the way they are approaching this innovation, it's not so much about hardware and mechanical and electrical and fluidic. It's really about software and machine learning and data science to deliver mobility as a service. When you know that your product can connect when you know that your product can adapt, when you know that your product can be updated continuously, then selling the product is not as important as selling the services. So pretty much all the industries are going to be massively transformed in the next three to five to 10 years by this wave of connectivity.